who wouldn't want to automate their small business fast? That's the ultimate dream of any small business owner, to sit down in their homes and browse through their executive dashboard to monitor overall business performance. So what do we do? We source and buy a complete ERP systems and try to cover all aspects of our business processes in one shot. We tend to ask for so many features, customizations, and anticipate future needs. Then many of us just delegate the implementation to our staff and give them uh, the liberty to ask for conflicting features that are convenient to each user. So what usually happens with this approach are implementation delays, vendor disputes, or if not, a complete implementation failure. So in this post, I'm going to be breaking down how can we automate our business processes fast and successfully implement an ERP or an accounting solution in a snap. So we're just meeting. My name is Dennis Hilario, and I'm going to give you my best thoughts and my tips uh, about digital transformation, creativity, and innovation. If you haven't already, kindly consider subscribing and smash the like button. And check out the links in the below description for more information about this topic. So before going over the different steps, as I always say, we have to concretize the process first. The steps here are based on the assumption that your business process and forms that you use are mature enough to implement an ERP solution. Plus, you know exactly what chart of accounts to use and reports you'd like to see on a real-time basis. You may consult your accountant if you had not established this yet and even before attempting to automate your business process. Step 1. Prioritize real-time transaction capturing. Identify the forms that you currently use and then map them out to the modules of the ERP system that you acquired. Ask your vendor to customize the default system forms according to your format. So the typical forms are uh, sales invoices or sales receipts. You have purchase orders. Uh, accounts payable and check vouchers, receiving reports, delivery receipts, or material issuance slips. System installation plus formatting of uh, these reports or forms and shooting them in your printer will probably take about three days and then two-day end-user setup and training. So once you have achieved this milestone, this real-time transaction capturing, so this itself has a significant impact already in your business. So we already eliminated the hassle of handwriting these transactions manually and transaction processing is much more faster. Total implementation days for step one is about five days. Step two, review transaction registers. Existing uh, mature software solutions in the market have transaction registers, meaning the transactions you captured on step one should have a summary per day, per week, per month, or even per year. So these registers have totals at the bottom of the report that you can use to analyze business performance early on. Again, you already have an immediate ROI just by having these real-time transaction registers to analyze total sales, total purchases, or expenses on a given period. So with this step two, um, more or less, you, you will spend about two days uh, to do it. Step number three, define your subsidiary ledgers. Subsidiary ledgers or sub-ledgers are typically the breakdown schedules of your accounts receivables, accounts payables, cash, inventory, or fixed asset. Normally, these sub-ledgers are automatically computed by the system when you do your transaction processing or posting from step 1. The key here is to set up the beginning balances of each ledger as of a cut-off period. So what do you need to have? So you have to have like an accounts payable and outstanding invoices per supplier. Accounts receivable, outstanding invoices per customer. For your cash, you have to have your bank balances. For your inventory, you have to have your stocks on hand. If you have this information in an Excel, then convert it to the data importing template of the software instead of manually encoding them. Then again, uh, check out the reports like AR aging, stock on hand report, cash position reports from the system if the format is already acceptable to you. Total implementation days for this step, uh, this is a little bit longer, so this may, may take you about 5 to 10 days, depending on the size and volume of your data. 
Step number four, review and format financial reports. You will need to consult your accountant on this step to ensure general ledger is well defined, automatic journal entries for each transaction is correct, and monthly periodical adjustments are done. Total implementation days for this step is roughly about five days. Step number five, or the last step, uh, but not the least, is to define your system control. Now that you have achieved real-time transaction processing up to financial report, then it's about time to optimize control by implementing approval processes. So depending on the system that you got, um, this might take you about two days to execute. So total implementation days uh, is 24 days as promised. There you go. You can have your processes automated in less than a month. This will now be the perfect time to consider special feature customizations if necessary or if you aim to have a competitive edge. If not that, then you may automate other aspects of your business such as e-commerce, digital marketing, or executive dashboards. So that's it for now. Um, if you are looking for a complete ERP solution for your small business, Check out the links uh, in the below description for more information on how to reach us for your first ERP implementation. Again, if you haven't already, kindly consider subscribing and smash the like button. Uh, DX Your Life in Business. Have a great day.